All right, so uh, I'm Mike Lieberman, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, Tag Security's uh, software supply chain uh, working group here. All right, a um, little bit about myself. Um, I'm Mike Lieberman. I am a uh, co-founder of a supply chain security startup called uh, Kusari. Um, I am also uh, a Salsa steering uh, committee member for folks who are familiar with sort of the Salsa uh, supply chain security standard. Um, I am a CNCF tag security lead, and I helped co-lead uh, the CNCF secure software factory reference architecture, which we'll talk a little bit later uh, here. And so for about you know, the next half hour or so, I'll <laughs> rant to you about how great uh, Tag Security's software supply chain working group is and um, you know, hopefully convince some of you who aren't already uh, contributing to uh, help contribute. So first off, for those who don't know, and um, uh, what, what is Tag Security? Well, I mean, you're at a Cloud Native Security Con. Um, hopefully you know, but if you don't, um, it's what it says on the TIM. It's the Security Technical Advisory Group for uh, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Um, it's made up of motivated uh, volunteers inter interested in and contributing to Cloud Native security. So just to be clear, it's not purely security experts. Um, myself, I started joining Tag Security when I was at an end user uh, company. I was at a giant bank, just sort of interested in security. And now, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm up here talking about it. So for folks who are you know, not sure, uh, no, feel free to join. Uh, we're interested in everybody uh, uh, joining. Um, we're also, uh, Tag Security is also the largest CNCF technical advisory group. And um, we also have the best mascot. <laughs> okay, so uh, what is the um, secure, uh, sorry, the software supply chain security uh, working group in, the, uh, in Tag Security? Well, it's a subgroup. Um, with tag security being so large, uh, we have a lot of different work streams, one of them being um, software supply chain security. We also have a controls working group. We have a zero trust working group as, along with uh, a few others. So because uh, software supply chain security is so nascent, it's such a new thing, um, we're not just you know, helping out with uh, you know, fixing supply chain security. We're helping define it in the larger space. Uh, and we have contributors who sort of, you know, across the spectrum, we have, you know, folks from end user organizations, folks from giant banks, folks from insurance companies and all that, as well as, you know, folks like myself who are now at a startup. Um, and we have folks from like larger institutions like IBM, Google, and so on uh, across multiple industries. So let, let's talk a little bit uh, what we've done in uh, the past. And we'll kind of, I'll be switching back and forth between uh, the presentation here just to kind of show off some of what we've done. So uh, going through, right, we, ha we have an ongoing supply chain compromise list. So this is just sort of a list of known supply chain incidents. And we have write-ups on those supply chain incidents and, and, and interesting facts about them. We've uh, have a, we wrote up a software supply chain security best practices guide, uh, which is you know once again focused on that cloud native uh, security you know aspect right like it's not just purely open source it's about how can we secure uh, the supply chains working inside of uh, applications like Kubernetes or application platforms like Kubernetes. We've also built out a secure software factory reference architecture, which I, I help co-lead, um, which is based around you know, trying to figure out how do we you know, securely build and, and you know, protect against attacks that we've seen with stuff like uh, you know, the SolarWinds style attack. Uh, we've also created a CNCF project supply chain security survey, which is um, focused around uh, trying to see within the CNCF what are some of the big challenges that some of the uh, various CNCF projects are running into from supply chain security. And then we've also collaborated with a lot of other CNCF groups, including stuff like the Tag Security Controls Working Group, to try and take some of those best practices and turn them into uh, controls. And then in addition to that, we also collaborate across the LF. 
uh, with other organizations like the CD Foundation and OpenSSF on projects like um, some of their supply chain security stuff like at the CD Foundation as well as um, projects like Salsa, um, which is a supply chain security standard. So let's uh, go a little, actually before doing this, let me um, show off a little bit of uh, one of the other things here. Give me one second. All right. Sorry, so many tabs. Here we go. So here is the catalog of supply chain compromises coming from uh, our group. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff here. It's an open sort of uh, thing. So we, we, we are accept PRs and, and we actually, if you have, for example, here, um, if you look at the issues, there's lots of uh, folks who have opened up issues here to sort of say, hey, here's another compromise we found. And uh, that ends up in this uh, catalog. And in addition to here, we actually have a bunch of, you know, if we click on one of these, um, let's just say the VS Code one, there's a bunch of write-ups on sort of the impact and what type of compromise, additional references, and those sorts of things. And we found that it's very useful for folks who are interested in understanding more about what types of supply chain attacks are there and, and what's happened in the past. And we're also looking to sort of uh, collaborate with other groups like the OpenSSF to make this more than just cloud native focused um, supply chain compromises, but just general open source uh, supply chain compromises. We are also uh, very interested in um, uh, also pulling in additional data from other researchers as well on that. And before I show off the software supply chain security best practices, um, if folks are interested, the link is in that QR code um, uh, there, and I'll leave it up for, for a minute. But just uh, while we kind of go through that, I'll talk a little bit about um, uh, software supply chain, uh, the, the, the security best practices here. But I'll give that uh, a minute. Um, all right, and let me just move on to the next slide just to kind of show this. All right. So, um, so what is the supply chain uh, software supply chain security best practices guide? It is a um, you know it's a set of best practices for uh, the supply chain security. It spans the entire SDLC, and I'll show that off in a second. Um, it is both a uh, set of specific best practices that often can be turned into stuff like controls, as well as just sort of general guidance around how to approach certain things. Uh, interestingly enough, it's actually been cited in the NIST's uh, Secure Software Development Framework. So some of the stuff that uh, you know the government has said, hey, here's what we think we should uh, do, is actually they cite um, this guide uh, as, as a reference. And um, just some examples here, right? Like some of it is this is stuff like uh, you know requiring signed commits, two-person code review, those sorts of things. But I will switch over to the guide here real quickly. Uh, sorry, that's the. Sorry, my tabs all got messed up here. Ah, there we go. So, um, so this is like the supply chain. Uh, this is just an example of what we've worked on here in um, the 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 uh, the software security working group. Sorry, software supply chain security working group. And so this is an example. Uh, this came out, I believe, it was 2021, um, and I contributed a little bit to it, which is. Um, the, the, uh, it is a set of best practices. It includes a bunch of information about like what is supply chain security, um, you know, uh, what, you know, it's mostly focused at a, at a broader level. Um, this was, you know, before a lot of the tools have come out uh, today. But it talks a lot about like, you know, stuff like shared responsibility. Um, it talks about stuff like, you know, how to secure software, I'm uh, sorry, how to secure your source code and how your source code, you know, a compromise to your source code could potentially lead to larger impacts down the way. Um, it followed by then, you know, how to secure the build itself and what are the impacts of, a, of, a, um, of an insecure build and, um, you know, things like, you know, using branch protection rules and, and all these different things to sort of make sure that you're securing both your software, or sorry, securing your software dependencies, securing your source code, securing um, all the things uh, throughout the SDLC until production. 
I won't go too deep into it. You're more than welcome to sort of uh, read this, and then if folks have questions after, um, I'm more than welcome to uh, you're more than welcome to, to ask them. All right. So the software uh, supply chain security best practices after that was released. Um, there was a desire by the group to then say, okay, what can we do to start building an architecture around this to start to say, hey, what sorts of things can we then do from those best practices and then turn it into something that's actually um, an architecture? And that's where the secure software factory came into play. And that's something that um, I co-led with a few other folks like uh, Andres Vega um, from Control Plane. And uh, the link to that is also up there in the QR code. And I'll leave that up for, for a minute or two. And so just as an, you know, uh, to provide some, you know, background, the secure software factory, right, like you had these best practices, what do we actually do about it? And so, you know, we can, what's, what's kind of that critical piece? And the critical piece here is, is that build. Um, because when you think about a lot of things like dependencies and source code and and the artifacts that you eventually run into production, well, what's the kind of, what's that key funnel? And the key funnel here is the build pipeline itself. It's where you're taking source code, it's where you're taking dependencies, it's where you're taking all this external stuff that's often unprivileged. You're then compiling it, building it, running tests, et cetera, and then packaging it all up and you are trying to turn it into something that's privileged to then run in um, an environment like production, right? Or being distributed to customers. And so the approach we took with this was, you know, we feel like there's three core tenets to sort of securing the build. First is you wanna secure the pipeline itself. You wanna make sure that only approved things are allowed to run. And in fact, certain things must be run. So as an example, if you are you need to generate an SBOM, you need to run a security scan. If you're a dev, you should not be allowed to disable that, right? So that's one key piece. And so that's kind of securing orchestration. But then what about the actual workloads that are running, especially in a cloud native context, right? You know, in a cloud native context, one of the problems is, well, it doesn't matter what I'm running, an admin to the Kubernetes cluster can just swap out a container image in a pod, right? Well, that's where you know, stuff like workload identity um, comes into play and where you want to actually secure the workload uh, from being tampered with. And so that's stuff like Spiffy Spire from an implement implementation standpoint. And then uh, finally, you actually want to secure, obviously, what the workload itself is actually doing. So if you have a build, I don't know, you're running Go Build or whatever, you want to make sure that you know, using stuff like eBPF or other sorts of introspection techniques, you wanna make sure that the build itself is not doing something nefarious, it's not trying to reach out to the internet and download something from malware.com or whatever, right? Um, and so another thing also is that, you know, as part of uh, <laughs> collaboration, right, there is a demonstrative implementation of this secure software factory that's maintained by the OpenSSF uh, called Fresca. And I will show a little bit more of what the secure software factory uh, looks like here. So I'll just, you know, uh, see if I can find a good diagram. Here, let's just kind of, just sort of show off, uh, here we go. Um, I know it's maybe not the easiest thing to read here, so let me try and, but here is an example of what that secure software factory looks like. Here's some diagrams, it's about, I don't know. Yeah, it's about like 20 pages uh, worth of write-up, diagrams, and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here about how, you know, approaches to take to sort of, you know, secure the build on how to sign things, you know, using things like SigStore and so on. And if folks have questions about this also at the end, uh, feel free to, to, to bring it up. All right. So those are the two main pieces of uh, big sort of um, uh, deliverables um, over the past few years from uh, the Supply Chain Security Working Group. And so what are we currently uh, doing, right? So one of the big ones um, is uh, supply chain security tool mappings. So um, that's something that uh, one of the 
one of our core contributors, uh, Marina Moore, is, is, is working on. And just kind of to show a little bit of that is um, we have, this is just a spreadsheet, but you know the idea here is we're looking to sort of look at those supply chain security best practices, stuff that's referenced in the secure software factory, and be able to sort of map those controls and map those best practices and, and various other requirements into what tools in generally in the space do we see kind of hitting those things. And we're definitely, you know, anybody who's a contributor, we'd love to kind of see, you know, if you think your tool kind of hits these things, yeah, you know, like, please come and uh, tell us about your tool. Um, you know, obviously, as long as it's open source. And we'd love to have that included. And we'd love to kind of, you know, know more, more about this, you know, know more, more about what, what folks are working on. So that's uh, one key piece. Um, another key piece is, uh, which is just starting now, and um, uh, John, uh, John from VMware uh, is working on this, is the uh, real world um, supply chain uh, 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 security policy, which is um, the goal of this is going to be trying to kind of build out like a couple like white papers and those sorts of things around, hey, how will people actually you know, how do people actually approach supply chain security at an organization and what sorts of things are they worried about and how do they take those best practices and understand those best practices and things like the secure software factory and understand how do they prioritize different elements of it and what are the things that should be important to them and what are the things that they should be concerned about. All right. Okay, and then um, what do we plan to do, right? So there's a bunch of stuff that we want to do in the future, um, but two of the big ones are uh, we want to build a supply chain security improvement pro program for, the CN for CNCF projects themselves. Um, and those, uh, that's where you know, we actually want to go out and build out uh, like almost like a journey for, for CNCF projects to kind of say, hey, you know, similar to how you have incubation, you have um, you ha you have uh, incubating projects, you have projects that have passed security review and so on. We want to have a set of requirements for CNCF projects as as well, because as you can imagine, right, like if a lot of folks are relying on Kubernetes, and if Kubernetes's supply chain is broken, then your supply chain is broken if you rely on Kubernetes. So that's kind of one of the things that we're, we're looking to do. And we know that like a lot of projects already, like Kubernetes, are you know, implementing things like Salsa. They're implementing a lot of the supply chain security best practices. But we want to extend that across um, the CNCF projects, right? Because there are a lot of, you know, as you might be, <laughs> um, if, if you take a look, right, like there's a lot of tools in the CNCF that are uh, security tools, and we want to make sure that those security tools themselves have uh, a secure supply chain. And then in addition to that, we want to partner with more groups across the Linux Foundation and across the broader community on some of these sorts of initiatives, right? And, and many of the members who are, you know, volunteers in um, uh, in tech security, uh, supply chain security working group, also contribute to Open SSF, contribute to the CD Foundation, um, as well as uh, many other sort of open source groups. Uh, like you know, there's folks. We have folks who contribute to OWASP, who contribute to us, and vice versa. And so we are uh, very interested in kind of continuing to to collaborate there. And then, how can you get involved, right? Um, well, uh, we meet every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, you know, you can find the invite on the, the normal CNCF calendar. Uh, the meeting is open to everyone who follows the code of conduct and also consents to recording. Um, all of our meetings are recorded, and they end up on YouTube uh, afterwards. So, if also if folks who are interested who just want to understand, like, hey, what what, are we, what sorts of things we're working on, you could go to the CNCF uh, YouTube channel and just kind of look through, and you can see some of our recorded meetings. And then if you just kind of are interested in other things, just sort of on the day-to-day, -day, what sorts of things are going on in the CNCF uh, security, uh, sorry, in the CNCF supply chain security working group, you should take a look at uh, the tag security issues. And there's a bunch of different things in there. Um, yeah, and so that's kind of, uh, 
it for the main piece, and then I'm just going to kind of just go through a few things here. Um, and I know, sorry to pick on Marina, I had just actually talked about your, your, your mapping spreadsheet just as right before you walked in. Um, so yeah, there's the, the, there is a tools mapping um, spreadsheet that we, you know, once again, that uh, working on and that if folks are interested, um, you know, Marina is, is, is leading that up. And then, um, you know, for folks who are interested in controls, right, there is the tag, uh, there, is, there is the controls working group, which sort of built out a spreadsheet um, uh, for controls. And then uh, somewhere down here at the bottom, I believe, and let me see if I can increase the size. These are like, you know, um, supply chain security best practices rewritten as controls. And also there are some mappings to, you know, what, what sort of NIST requirement do they potentially map to? Not everyone does map directly to a NIST requirement, but there's some stuff there. And, um, and there is potentially some work there, just so you know, to sort of maybe map, integrate that with OSCAL if folks are um, interested in OSCAL, uh, which is, and if you're not interested in OSCAL you're, or you're not familiar, OSCAL is just a, a potentially a way to, um, it's an open, um, Security controls assessment language. I think it's something like that. Anyway, the, the basic idea is it's a, it's a way to sort of take stuff like security controls and security control assessments and codify it into a structured language like JSON, XML, etc., and then be able to say, great, you know, now you can just sort of automate control assessments and and and, and so on. And so that's kind of tied in here. Um, there is a lot of collaboration with uh, Salsa. Uh, which is an open SSF standard. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks who, you know, myself included, who contribute to Salsa as well as this. And there's a lot of um, sort of collaboration back and forth around stuff like definitions. So definitions in Salsa, site stuff in CNCF, and stuff that CNCF is doing is is looking back at, at stuff that that Salsa is doing to to help out there as well. Um, yeah, and then just for folks who are interested if you if you look at the uh, NIST SSDF, you know some of the controls uh, are not. I don't think they call them controls. I think that yeah, they call them practices and tasks. But some of the practices and tasks actually cite the CNCF um, secure supply chain uh, best practices here as well. Um, yeah, I believe that is it. Uh, yeah, that's all I all I have for now. And if uh, folks have questions um, or you know want to know more, or whatever, feel free to 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 ask. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I just as a, a, a having contributed to a bunch of these things, I just have links to them. Um, I can add them into the, the the slides and make sure that the slides are in sked. Oh yeah, yeah, they they are in the GitHub issues, but sometimes that's not the easiest to. Oh, the the um, tag security issues. Uh, so if I go back to here, um, I believe. So for example, uh, for Marina's thing, there is a CNCF supply chain security tool mappings one, which cites that. And then, oh, it looks like, yeah, there is a controls catalog. Uh, the organization could be a bit better, but <laughs> um, yeah. But there is uh, uh, some stuff here in, Whoops. Yeah. Actually, hold on, let me put up issues. Uh, it's somewhere in there, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, cool. Well, yeah, if there's uh, uh, nothing else, um, you know, feel free to tap me on the shoulder if you have any questions about, uh, you know, 
tag security, the supply chain security working group, um, or any of the other sort of projects we are, have worked on or we're planning to work on, or some of the things that we're doing with the OpenSSF, like Salsa and Fresca and all that good stuff.